check this out. This is an F350 dually pickup truck. This is a work truck XL package with 8,000 pounds of weight on the back. And this is actually 8,000 pounds of weight. This is concrete. So it's causing the back of the truck to actually squat a bit. Now it is squatting to the point to where the overloads are actually engaged. See that right there on both sides. They're not compressed very far, but they are engaged. But that means there is a lot of weight on this truck. So let's see what the actual door sticker says on this truck. I don't think it's gonna be 8,000 pounds, but oh my gosh, 8,015 pounds worth of cargo capacity in this truck. That is absolutely insane. 8,015 pounds worth of cargo capacity in this truck. And again, this is a work truck configuration, so it's gonna be really stripped down, but you're still gonna have a lot of good features. Power door locks, power windows, eight inch display. It's a pretty dang nice truck with a tremendous amount of cargo capacity. 8,000 pounds, that is insane. Anyways, let's step over here, see what's going on. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so here is a nice limited F-250. So as we walk to the back and take a quick look. Um, so in this situation, uh, we're assuming you might have used Pro Trailer Hitch Assist to already uh, line up your hitch ball with the coupler on the conventional trailer. Um, and we have a skid steer here loaded onto this trailer. Uh, first look, it looks like the skid steer is loaded towards the center. Loading's probably okay, but uh, Smart Hitch will help us confirm that it's true. Let's okay. hop into the truck. All right. Well, do we, at what point do you load the trailer onto the uh, So we truck? start uh, with the trailer not connected. Okay. Yep. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Can we just take a nap? <laughs> All right. Nice and warm, toasty. So I'll start the truck up. Yep. I figure that's step one of anything here. All right, so now what are we gonna do, smart hitch? Right. Yep, so uh, to get to the smart hitch, um, we'll have the features tab, look it on the sync screen, um, and then we'll start by selecting the uh, smart hitch feature. Um, so oh, do you, yeah, that's okay, yeah, either way, doesn't matter. Um, we'll start with a disclaimer, just mentioning yep. smart hitch is not intended for commercial use. Um, so in the smart hitch screen, we'll start with select, selecting the type of trailer we have. In this case, we have a conventional trailer. Okay. So we'll select conventional. Um, and we have Very selected. Yep. Um, and we have two options. We can do the quick setup or the connection checklist. So uh, for the purposes of this, well, we'll start with the full uh, connection checklist. Sure. So first step of the connection checklist is to want to align the receiver uh, to the trailer coupler. Uh, Pro Trailer Hitch Assist can help us with that. Um, and then very important first step is to make sure the trailer is disconnected at first. Um, reason being is because the first step is to uh, reset the hitch weight. So you'll want to add all your cargo, all your passengers uh, to the truck and to the trailer. Have it positioned uh, roughly where it will be uh, for the duration of the trip or the drive or the job. Um, and you want to not change the weight in the truck at that point. Um, this step is basically zeroing the scale. So we'll hit reset hitch weight. Um, it'll confirm that you want to reset the hitch weight to zero. Hit yes. Move on to the next step. Uh, next step is to enter the total weight of the loaded trailer. So in our case, we know our trailer with that skid steer is about 12,000 pounds. So we'll go ahead and change it to 12,000. Hit uh, confirm. Okay. All right. And then the next step is to go ahead and connect and lock the trailer cup there. So we'll go ahead and do that. Go out there and do that. I thought he was going to let me drive this good steer. My theory is that you're light right now, but we'll find out. It is. <laughs> Okay. So we got uh, the trailer connected. 
we'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, this is part of the checklist. It'll make sure we confirm the electrical connection. In our case, that's correct. Uh, cross and connect the safety chains. We are good there. Um, connect the emergency breakaway switch. Also good. Um, and at this point, uh, it gives us the option to check all the trailer lights. Um, this is another feature for trailer light check. It's another step that might take a lot of exiting and entering the vehicle or a second person mm -hmm. if you need. Uh, with trailer light check, it'll allow you to do this step by yourself. So if you hit trailer light check, um, it goes through a, a process of activating the turn signals, the brake lamps, and reversing lamps if equipped. And it'll uh, repeat that process five times for you to be able to get out of the truck and make sure everything's working. So if you hit start, look at, as we can see, um, it'll start with the left turn signal and then it'll move over to the right turn signal and then the brake lamps and reversing lamps and it and this process is, is where you can get out yeah, and you can get sure out and take a look of course a look. yep uh, so this will repeat five times for opportunity for you to take a look at everything so we can go ahead and exit so trailer lights are working uh, next step is to raise the tongue jack we already did that um, and this is the smart hitch screen so this is the scale that we are seeing so on the scale here, you have your recommended tongue load um, between 10 and 15%. Uh, this red indicator bar here is telling us that we're actually uh, too light on the hitch weight. Okay. So we're not uh, at that 10% threshold. We have the, the note here, it's telling us to increase the hitch weight by moving the load in the trailer toward the hitch. Um, another thing to help us uh, kind of load this without necessarily help from anybody else, uh, we use the tail lamp feature. So uh, activating the TAM lights, there's these four indicator lights that help uh, indicate where you are. So as you can see, um, the bottom light is flashing, indicates that we are a uh, light on the tongue, and we need to adjust our weight to add more weight to the, to the tongue, not to the hitch. Um, if it was flashing on the top, we would too see heavy. too heavy. Okay. And then two solid lights uh, that we are within the 10 to 15% threshold. Oh, that is cool. So we can go out and take a look at the actual tail lamps, um, see them blink and adjust the weight. Okay. As you can see on the tail lamps, like we saw up front, uh, the bottom light is blinking, which indicates that we don't have enough weight on the tongue. So we can go ahead and move up a little bit. So as we adjust it for a bit, we see uh, the two solid lights that tell us we're in the between the 10 yep. and 15% threshold. If we want to move up a little bit more, we can see uh, the top lights blinking. That'll show the same with the sixth screen. Um, if you want to adjust back a little bit, we got to our 10 to 15%. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, we see the two lights uh, solid, so we can go head back and check out. So now that we're back, uh, our passengers are loaded as well. We see the green indicator. We, got, we are in between our 10% tongue weight and 15% tongue weight. Very, very cool. We're told our Tongue weight is now adequate for a more beneficial and uh, pleasurable towing experience. Uh, next step for uh, just getting going yeah, is the rest of the wheel steps. Chocks. Yeah. Yep. Um, adjusting mirrors. We have the power telescoping mirrors and power mirrors. Power adjust. Um, and then also to adjust the trailer uh, braking setting if equipped, if you have a trailer with brakes. Um, so that is the smart hitch feature. Um, if you're familiar with the connection checklist and you don't want to uh, go through all those steps and just maybe check the weight, we have the quick setup option, which just takes you to the three weight uh, option. So opportunity to reset your hitch weight or zero the scale, enter your trailer weight, and then take this back to the uh, smart hitch scales. It's a very cool feature, man. I could absolutely see an application for that, especially when loading, because yeah, a lot of folks, when you see a skid steer, you don't realize that all the weight's really in the back of it until you use the shovel or the bucket up front. But yeah, um, if you don't load something like that properly, you could cause a major accident. You could be, you could be the reason why your skid steer falls off of your trailer and your trailer's on the side of the road. So very, very cool. Hey, I really appreciate it. That's awesome tech. Thank you so much. The, both this and the hitch tech, honestly, there were things that I, I, I have a truck on order. Um, and I waited specifically because I wanted these features so I could show it. And I can actually see practical usage for these. And I, I guarantee you, um, folks who typically don't tow, this is 
tremendously helpful for them. Absolutely. This is absolutely the type of information that they need because it's just gonna make them feel more confident about hitching up and being in the safest possible position to tow. If you've been towing all your life and you know exactly where to put weight and what your suspension looks like when you're under load, all this stuff, it may not be as important to you, but for a lot of folks who are just getting into RVing, who are getting their first trailer, who are towing their first trailer, maybe they have to pick up a piece of rental equipment, this stuff right here is priceless. That's awesome, man. Really Absolutely. appreciate it. Cool, thank you. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. We are off to another display, the Pro Trailer Backup Assist over there. And uh, we're gonna see some more technology that's available on the 2023 Super Duty. Guys, we'll talk to you again real soon.